Hey. Good kind of morning. How is everyone? <laughs> Good? Yes? Excellent. OK. So here I am, uh, final day of HowCon. God, it went by too quick, didn't it? Yeah, it's always like that. I always keep thinking, like, why can't conventions be six days or seven days or one month? Could you just imagine that? You go to the one month convention? Yeah, I'll be there. I got off of work. It's great. Um, gotcha. <laughs> All right. Uh, without any further ado, uh, let's bring a young lady out of here. Some of you may know her as Ricky, others may know her as Riddle. Put your hands together for cosplayer extraordinaire. Oh, this is cool. All right. Yes. I know. I'm not sure why yeah. we have this monitor right I know. there. We should just do the whole just stare panel at each like other. this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hey, guys. What's up? Hey. Wait, wait. Post for a picture. Oh, ready? Like a worst okay. Action shot. Oh, wait. You got a point. Oh, yeah. <gasps> right. Hey, Brady. <laughs> Can you get that in there, too? Is there any way? Well, you know what? Get, get on, get on stage there, yeah. and get behind us. Get on a stage and then. You taking of a us. picture of us. Get in between us. There we go. We got this. <gasps> Did you get it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's a Look at that. Sorry. We are not afraid to pose things, are we? Oh, gosh. No, my, my theory is if it's a silly face, they don't expect me to look good in it. Oh. So, and then there's no pressure to take a pretty photo. I like that theory. Who are you cosplaying as today? I am Elizabeth from the video game Persona, video game line uh, Persona, but I'm specifically from a game called Persona. Do I talk to you or do I talk to you them? You kind of talk to, you can yeah, either. Multitasking. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was like wall-eyed so I could look at the both of you. <laughs> uh, so I'm from the video game Persona. I'm trying not to like give everybody a free show like right in this direction. <laughs> okay, that deserves a George Takei. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> so. Huh. So yeah, it's from like a JRPG. It's like gotcha. 80 hours. Got you. Do you play video games? Uh, I do at times, but it's you know on and off. Well, but you're so busy. Yeah, but let's go back to the whole flashing thing. You're you are. <laughs> you're. Uh, I am the Flash. You know, but you, <laughs> I mean you're appropriately. Yes. Covered uh, down, right? I do right. have this story where like my biggest advice with cosplay is always wear underwear. Okay. Good. <laughs> And it does stem from a situation where I'm just gonna tell you guys right now. Uh, I, I did this co <laughs> I did this costume that was latex, and latex is like very kind of like thin, but it's not. And I thought, well, I don't want seam lines in my un of my underwear, so I'm just not gonna wear any. And with latex, you glue it together. So what ended up happening was I was doing this character called Battle Angel Lita, and she's like this cyborg girl, and I was doing all these yeah. really crazy poses, and. Uh, these guys say, we're having the coolest pose contest. I was like, I got this. <laughs> and I went down, I did the squat, and all of a sudden I felt this draft, like right oh. up here. Yeah. And I was like, whoa. And I like stood up, and I was like this. And I was like, hey, hey good thing there's grass on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if there's any kids here. It, it totally and, separated? Yeah, it just split right open. And there was Down like, the seam? Like, uh, like, yeah, right in the crotch. And, no, and yeah. there's photos of that? No, I made sure there wasn't photos of that. That sure, there's so some on your creeper, didn't if, it? If there, there were, they'd be on his, they'd be on his hard drive. If uh, there were, there. And so I asked to see their the back of their cameras, and luckily there were no photos. But I was like, <laughs> you should have ran to each one. Just <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Go buy another one. I was like, can I borrow a hoodie? <laughs> and I like Aww. wrapped it around my waist, and I like shuffled back to where my friends were, and they're like, what's wrong, Ricky? I'm like, my crush blew open, Aww. and it might be on the internet, and my dad's gonna see it. And, and so luckily, all the guys are really cool. But now I wear like four pairs of underwear. <laughs> See, that's the smart moral thing. of the story. That is. Well, we have we share that in common. In what, you, you're wearing four right now. Or are you no, wearing my underwear? Four that, of my <laughs> underwear. <yeah. laughs> no, I split. I didn't. I wasn't wearing latex, but I split my pants. Yeah. Uh, I was doing a photo shoot From in all England. All your awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It was um, a photo shoot in England at a uh, or Germany at a German convention, and it was. It was Kate Mulgrew, it was Captain Janeway, and Tom Paris, uh, Robbie McNeil, and myself in the photo op. And I kept telling Kate, I was like, Kate, let's just do funny stuff. The fans love funny poses. Yeah. And she goes, oh, you should know, they're, they're, not gonna, they're not going to appreciate that. I go, yes, they're going to love it, you know? Yeah. 
So I was doing crazy photobomb stuff when, because some, sometimes fans would say, um, yes, this picture is just with Kate and Robbie, right? So then I wasn't in it, but I still photobombed it anyway. So it's what I did was. It's got to be all about you. Yeah, well, no, no, no. It's just to add to the <laughs> essence of the photo. So as they're posing, I. I leap behind them, sort of like a, sort of like a, a, a ballet, like, like that. You could and have as I, his as pants I, again. yes, oh yeah, I did. No, <laughs> um, so as I did that little ballet leap, yeah. I totally heard a, <laughs> like that. I went, oh, I looked down, and I said, I split my pants, and and then you know, Kate's like, you deserved it or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and that was that. So you I, you I, did I, deserve it. I know. You ruined your photo. But it just, it's scary when it you're It felt so good. It <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I'm free! <laughs> I All of my pants should be like this. Yeah, exactly. Free. He went home and just ripped open all Ripped them all. He's <laughs> like, I'm starting something. Exactly. In Germany. Uh, speaking of crazy ripping, I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't mean to just... There, this... Okay. I dated what, this what? crazy girl. No, no, just saying. I had a crazy girlfriend who we had this huge argument. We flew to a convention in Australia. And after the, at the this is how crazy the argument was. She's screaming and yelling. She goes into the bedroom, locks the door, yeah. and I can't get in. I'm like, what the, you know, come on. I said, yeah. Danielle, open the door. She wouldn't open the door. Ten minutes later, I hear, rip, rip, rip. Cloth is being ripped. I'm like, what the? Rip. This is a two and a half week trip to Australia. <laughs> Finally, when she opens it, lets the, you know, unlocks the door, I go in. Um, I had 18 pairs of boxer shorts, underwear that I brought with me to this trip. She had ripped every single one, just torn them was to he, shreds. Was it because she wanted you to wear briefs? <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> uh, high five. Uh, no, sci fi. You know what that is? Sci-fi. Okay. Do the. Can you do live long and prosper? Yeah. Okay. One cool. Now so that's much. when you hit like there. Sci-fi okay. is keeping that. Right, right. There we go. Right on. Right. Wait. You got me on my bad hand. Yeah, I gotta do me, it. It doesn't matter which hand. It just does just make which the. Hand. There okay. You go. Ready? Bam. Got okay. that. Sci-fi. Very easy. And if you put it this way, your parents will tell Thank you what you. that's about. <laughs> <laughs> We're I'm not so sorry. This is literally <laughs> like <laughs> all the cameras are waiting. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> This is we were in the green room for a short time, and this is pretty much like you guys are just sort of observing us. Observing the banter that we have. Yeah. We have a microphone right here where the lovely Margaret is standing in red in the middle, and don't be shy. You can like obviously pop your, you've seen. You, I have no problem. You can, <laughs> Don't be shy if you're wearing latex. Come right on up, and you can ask your question of Riddle. Uh oh. If you oh well you know no people. Questions. Will, oh come on. Don't someone, be shy. someone will have one. Let's see, uh, I'm Canadian. Someone. I'm sure many of you know. Yes, that she's already. Canadian actually. I didn't I, know that. I'm infiltrating the USA. She I'm a did. spy. Can you tell us all the provinces you've lived in, please? Uh, I was born in British Columbia. Then yes. I lived in a couple hundred miles away from Inuvik in the Northwest Territories. Wow. We had our food barged up every month. Oh, um, my gosh. I, was, I, go, I tell people this story because I thought it was what people do. On Sunday night, my parents would drive to the garbage dump, and we watch the bears root through trash. What? <laughs> no. That was joke. entertainment? Yeah, that was our Sunday night. That was like... I, yeah. You're serious? I'm serious. You can, li you know, you can go down. No, this is a joke. No, ask my parents. We had a suburban. I, I will ask your parents that. I thought it was normal. I totally, I'm like, I was talking to my friends. I'm like, yeah, did you guys like watch the bears on Sunday root through the garbage? Like at the dump? And, he, and they're like, what is wrong with you? I was like, That's A plus upbringing? I don't know. So then from there, I moved back down to Vancouver Island, <laughs> then to Winnipeg, and then to Ontario. No dumps. No dumps. <laughs> that's like free entertainment. That's like a, that's like, it is. that's like an outdoor zoo, like a it zoo was, with no, no cages. It is. Right? Totally natural zoo. Natural it was way ahead zoo. of its time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot to do. Like I remember. Uh, Every time I see you now, I'm going to look at you in a different way. I think of a garbage of dump. Whole, a garbage <laughs> dump and bears is what I'm going to think about. Yeah. So. I had like a bizarre childhood. Oh my it goodness. Was, so uh, after North, uh, after those Anuvik, and then you went to where? Uh, back down to the very top of Vancouver Island okay. and then uh, Winnipeg and then Ontario, uh, Toronto. And then I shot straight down to Atlanta. I was like, peace out. Too cold. Really? Oh. Wow. I, uh, I end up uh, meeting somebody, and he's like, I'm not moving to Canada. And I'm like, oh, but so I'm still happened. Canadian citizen. Is that same person? Are you still with that yes, same person? Yes, I'm still oh. with that Oh, same. good. Yeah. See, so that worked out. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I was like, if it goes south of the zombie apocalypse, I'm coming straight up north. Of course. Yeah. This is where you have to Because you've seen Atlanta on The Walking Dead. I'm not yeah. staying there. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's, I know. I, I, I believe the same thing. I think a zombie apocalypse happens. You've got to come up yeah, here. Yeah, because they don't, right? if you read World War Z, you yes. know they don't like the snow. Yes. So. And that's kind of why I keep doing conventions in Canada. So more and more people <laughs> know it me in case it happens and I knock on a random door. Oh, it's Garrett. Come on in. It's zombie. Like, My pants are split for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
<laughs> I think we have two questions. Yes, yes, sir. Go ahead. Um, I'm the Whoa, topic. your voice is coming from there, not there. Huh. I like that. It's like ventriloquism. It is like okay. a ven they should put like a Muppet face. Yeah, they right should. There. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Yes. Uh, on the topic of uh, unfortunate wardrobe malfunctions, um, you do a lot. Uh, do you do a lot of uh, cosplay of like? Um, agile action heroes and stuff, mm -hmm. and do you, uh, uh, do Sounds you like plan... he's trying to be tactful. <laughs> do you plan for that kind of event when you're designing the costume, like, with that in mind, to make sure that it's, like, durable? Yeah, like I mean, I have a few of my earlier costumes, like Black Cat, I was like, it should be all in leather. And then I was like, I didn't take into account there's these uh, seams called gussets, which stop your pants from splitting or, you know, joint stuff. And I didn't work in gussets, so I could, I could only sit like this. I'm like, I got this, guys. I got this. And I couldn't, like, walk upstairs because the fabric didn't stretch on my knees. So since then, I have, uh, I take what I learned from old costumes and just keep applying it to new stuff. But uh, generally, I'm not like, I don't think I'm a real superhero, so I'm not like, I gotta be able to like parkour. I'm just like, I gotta be able to walk upstairs, sit down, and 50% of the time go to the bathroom. Otherwise, I just shut my bodily functions down. Maybe you do some cool poses and Yeah, stuff. I mean, you wanna do like epic poses, but sometimes, Sometimes it just, like my Huntress, for those of you who've seen my Huntress, it is, is literally a stand there and look cool. Like, there's no way. Because that's what got me in trouble. That's why my crotch blew out. It's because I was doing epic poses. So I'm kind of a little gun shy now. <laughs> <laughs> Makes and sense. You, you can use me to test future fabric. I'll just. <laughs> Obviously, I'll just if, it split, do if it doesn't split. If it doesn't split while I'm doing the little ballet thingy. I'll play Swan be... Lake, not Cracker. There you go. Not Cracker. Oh, not that's cracker. what I'll play. <laughs> <laughs> She's quick. Okay, Hillis, yes, sir. Go ahead. How are you? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Um, when it comes to the more revealing cosplays, how yes. do your parents take that? Well, you could go down to the table and ask them. Um, <laughs> what? It, They're here? Yeah, I told, didn't I tell you? No! Yeah, it's their first convention. My dad's oh. coming today. My mom's been there all weekend. Oh, everyone's got to go say hi yeah, to their parents. My Come parents on. live in Kentville. That's so awesome. So this is their first... Their first convention, so yeah. Where's that at? Where's uh, it's like an hour and a bit away from here, but my mom grew up in Waverly, so okay. so she wanted to come back home. They're retired. They're like Harley culture now. Oh wow! But, okay, uh, but Kentville is in Nova Scotia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. It's like an hour, no, hour twenty. Well, with the way my dad drives, it's like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I was like, I'm gonna sit in the back so I can secretly play my Vita, my DS while they're driving, because I'm like, oh my god, this drive's taking forever. <laughs> um, you're revealing costumes. Uh, I, th I remember when I first started, I came home one time and I had this like really high slit because I was uh, dressed as a character called Rosette from Chrono Crusade. And again, I had like four pairs of underwear on and a bunch of tights. And my mom's like, that skirt is awful high. And I'm like, mom, don't worry about it. I got like tights on and stuff. Now, I don't, since I don't live at home, I, I don't know how they feel about it. But uh, I did have them give them the heads up in the final episode of Here's a Cosplay. I'm wearing this pretty... It ended up being a lot smaller than I thought it would be. And I had to be like, Mom, Dad, got to give you a heads up. My boobs are kind of out there. Don't worry, I'm taped in. But uh, it's super weird feeling when you look at like a kind of like a sexy photo of yourself and it says that your dad likes it. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, Dad, don't look at me. No, you made me. Don't look. You mean look. Facebook? Yeah, where he hits like, hit I like. see his name, Ray. And I'm like, oh, God. But that's from pr being proud that your daughter. He's like, I made that. People like that. And I'm like, Ooh. no, I don't think that was what it was. It was just like, that's my daughter. <laughs> She's famous. Yeah. Hit like. Right? Yeah, but if it's like that let's, one let's costume. Let's just go with that, okay? okay yeah. <laughs> yeah, I go creepy, guys. <laughs> yeah, so. I, I kind of missed the, the Gerd Wang Q&A yesterday. So oh, I you did? Wanted, I just wanted I to say Wang was I, wrong. Loved your, I loved wrong. you in that show. Thank you. Do you want to make it Gerd? I'll, I'll do a Gerd Gar Gar Wang Q&A. Okay, yes. I didn't... Um, just to explain, uh, the correct pronunciation is actually W-O-N-G. Even though it's spelled, yes, it's spelled W-A, the reason why. W-A-N-G and W-O-N-G are both pronounced Wang, but W-O-N-G is Southern China, W-A-N-G is Central, and Northern parts of China. So it kind of denotes what part of China your ancestors are from. But, if you're but it's, a, it's, a, it's a common mistake, so, so no, please don't it. feel bad about saying that. No, 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 but now I, those pants have busted open, it's always I, Wang. <laughs> 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 it's 
it's always wanging. You know what's so awesome? Totally there's li- there's totally little kids in this audience, and none of them know what the heck you're talking about. It's you're wang. talking about the ballet. You remember Nutcracker? <laughs> and they're like, Oh, we've seen that. At it's home. wanging men. You know, so. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, sing so, that. No. Okay. So, do you, um, do you speak? Uh, but thank you for watching Voyager and being a fan of that, sir. Yeah, I, I was a fan that. of that. Do you speak Mandarin or Cantonese? I do. I speak Mandarin Chinese. I speak uh, a little bit of German, uh, a little bit of Russian. Um, a little bit of Spanish, a little bit of French. So I, I try to be kind of the, you know, That's well-rounded guy. All I know guy. is like, uh, so you know Cantonese? Mandar- oh, I know, well, you know bad words in Cantonese, yeah, right? That's right. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you. Any young Chinese kids in the audience? No? Oh, there Cantonese? are. There's one right there. Do you, are you Cantonese or Mandarin? Okay, that's cool. Go ahead. Say you're a Cantonese. Though. <laughs> I know uh, Gaosi. Gaosi? Gaosi. Mousy. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, uh, a dog, uh, yeah. dog excretion. Yes. Okay. <laughs> See, that's the thing. And what, I know dim sum words. That's about it. Like what? Uh, Hagao, shumai. Yeah, okay, good. Most people know that yeah. dim sum stuff. Uh, ngoi. Ngoi. Yeah. Ngoi. So you know what it is? Di- there are actually 113 dialects in China. Bananas. That's a bananas. But the funny thing is, if you were to say what you said, gao si in Mandarin, it's yeah. gou shi. So it's a little more mellow. It's not well, as like. I always say Mandarin always sounds like you're drunk, and Cantonese always sounds like you're angry. Oh <laughs> well, growing like, up. My sister Everyone and I. Just sounded angry. No, no. My <laughs> sister and I. We thought that because we spoke Mandarin, yeah. uh, we thought that Cantonese sounded like well, we, oh, that's retarded Mandarin. It's like really, it's like or it's like hick. It's hick Mandarin because yeah. it's, it's really drawn out, right? So. Because Mandarin is so like sing songy. Does anyone know? Remember Final Fantasy VIII? Fei Wong, she sang. Oh, did she sing in okay. Mandarin? I believe. Yeah. And it was just so like beautiful yeah. and sing songy. Well, everything. that's not the most sing song dialect. The most sing song dialect in China is called it's called uh, Shanghai Hua or or Shanghainese, what they speak in the sh- uh, city of Shanghai, yeah. and that literally is like they're singing. I mean, oh. when they start talking, you're like, oh, wow. <laughs> I'm in the future. Ooh, I mean, yeah, it, it, it's really. <laughs> I'm on nip- Voyager. I, yeah, oh this my is God. another planet. Yeah. Oh, speaking of shows that speak Mandarin, Firefly speaks yeah. Mandarin. Yeah. Woo! And my mom was like, "What is this Firefly thing?" I'm like, "Mom." She doesn't. She hasn't seen it. Oh, no, you she hasn't care. seen it. But she's like, "If you ever see Norman Reedus, I'd like a signature." Oh. I'm like, "I don't even think I. That's just not gonna happen." <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so they say they speak Mandarin on Firefly, and they say some really bad cuss yeah. words that if the censors knew what they said, that, that never would have gotten through. <laughs> I'm really kind of shocked, to be honest. Um, some of their pronunciation is better than others, you know. Um, I love Nathan Fillion, but his Mandarin stinks. It really does. <laughs> it does. No, I remember for, I did not want to watch Firefly for the longest time because my friends were like, it's awesome, it's awesome, it's oh, awesome. So you did it in, to, just to rebel. Against I did. I was friends. like, out of principle, I was like, stop hassling me. I'm not watching it. And then yeah. I watched it, and I was like, why did I wait so long? <laughs> See? <laughs> See? So, it's a good show. I am a geek. Deep down, I started as a geek. I will die as a geek. Really? What yeah. was your first fandom? Video games. Which, which video game was the first oh, game that my you played? My parents it? actually played in television, and I would watch them. Wow. Yeah, which is predates Nintendo, kiddos. Holy moly, in television. In television. Well, we couldn't afford an Atari. <laughs> you're going back then. But Nintendo sort of... Oh, wait, was this during the Anuvik watching Bears time? Yeah. Oh, okay, I got you. <laughs> my bear time cut down yeah. once we got into the television. I got you. I was like, Sir, yes. your question? Um, my question is a bit about the headspace when you're cosplaying. Uh, when you're meeting people or going on photo shoots uh, do you play yourself as the character do you try to become the character and uh and uh yeah i feel like a 12 year old in this couch is so big uh, you guys are matching in color blue, yeah, blue. he's wearing blue. Blue, blue we're sitting on blue couch okay blue. Go ahead. I'm, I'm camouflaged go for it um the head space is uh actually i always joke i have enough trouble being myself let alone trying to pretend to be somebody else. So, I mean, when I pose uh, as the character, I try to, you know, do the same poses, or if she's happy, I smile. If they're serious, I'm serious. But there are people who, <clears throat> when they go to cons, like uh, there was one girl who dressed as the Baroness many, many years ago. And the Baroness is a very serious character. And I went up to her and I complimented her costume, and she was kind of like the B word to me. And I was like, is she playing the character, or is she just that way? 
And I always, like, even prior to that, I vowed, I was like, I, I don't want anyone to ever have a bad experience when they meet me because I wouldn't want to have a bad experience like that. So I always like I might be serious for a photo, but I'll be I'll usually smile afterwards or thank them. And yeah, I'm not into like the role playing stuff, which that was like something you really had to struggle with when you first start cosplaying. You'd have to explain it. You'd be like, oh, I'm dressing as a cartoon character. Like, is that a sexual thing? <laughs> and you're like, maybe for some people, but not for me. Right. But yeah, you're, that girl you're talking about, she was kind of in a method actor in a way. She might right? have been. She stayed she, in her, her character the whole time. But I'm time. not too sure. if she Because, yeah. you know, some people just have bad days or... or maybe you know, she's just a bee, right? Maybe she's just a bee. She could just be a bee. Or yeah. she could be the baroness. She, she's could, the bar she was the baroness. <laughs> she was the bee word. There we go. Baroness. Baroness. Or bears yeah. digging through garbage. Don't. Okay. Sorry. Don't. I, I miss love that. Them. I can never think of you <laughs> any other way other than bears the digging bears. through garbage. I'm gonna, now. I'm gonna come into your house in a bear suit one I'm time and drink through your trash. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. I'm like, remember that time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call the police when that happens. Sweet. But I'm gonna make a T-shirt for you yeah. that's gonna have a bear digging through trash. And as it's gonna a gift. say like Sunday night dumps. <laughs> <He's gonna say> <laughs> <laughs> See, we're creating our own company here. Hi. Okay. Oh, sci-fi. Eh. Okay. <laughs> Yes, your question. Hi, Riddle. How are you? Good. I like your kigu. Aw, so you. cute. Um, well, I mean, I follow you on Instagram, and I just have a question. How much do you really like squirrels? Oh, my God. Don't even ask. <laughs> too much. I let them poop on me. I mean, that's not very much the extent of it. I don't have a choice, okay? That's love. I really do, I do love squirrels. I, I found them fascinating. For those of you who don't know, I uh, rescue and rehabilitate baby squirrels. Wow. Um, and once they're old enough, I then release them into the wild. So I'll have them, the most recent pair of four I had, um, and they're all different moms. They uh, had them from about three weeks to 15 weeks. And when you get them, you have to uh, feed them a very specific formula, and based on their age and their weight, you have to feed them anywhere from every three hours, even through the night, to as they get older, they can eat regular food. And I had one flying squirrel, too, and that was pretty exciting. Wow. Yeah, so on, she's right. On my Instagram, like on my Facebook page, I kind of like, I have a Facebook page for squirrels. On my Instagram, it's no holes bars. <laughs> Literally, I just post like anything. So you will see a ton of like squirrel photos. And what's really cool is two I released a year and a half ago, about an hour away from where I live. I go to the woods and I call them, and their names are Walt. Walt and Haru, and they'll come out of the forest. <clears throat> so those two didn't, they never went away. They're still kind of there. Well, they're, they're usually where you release them, they kind of stay in that area. Uh, generally, squirrels do, but they'll, they know the sound of their names, and they'll come down, and they won't come down for anybody else, and they'll come and eat, they'll eat nuts, so let me scratch you them. Oh, my and, goodness. Yeah. You're so. like the squirrel whisperer. <clears throat> yeah, I am. Or Snow White. I'll take that one, too. That's good, too. I mean, it's so kind of you. That's yeah. wonderful. Was so, that? Yeah. Yeah, a big advocate of animal rescue. Uh, I'm actually producing, I have a charity group too called Cosplay for a Cause, and we're doing, I'm producing a calendar with a bunch of cosplayers, and uh, all the proceeds I'm gonna donate to the Wildlife Conservation Society. So yeah, but squirrels, squirrels are my thing. Squirrels are my spirit animal. They are totally underappreciated. People consider them rodents, but they're like nature's little fertilizer. See, this is how much I love I, squirrels. I've just talked about them for like five minutes, and I would totally keep talking about no, them. No, I think that's awesome. And I have to, I have to admit to you that, um, I haven't had a good image of squirrels for you a while. Well, I, I'll tell you, when I was in college yeah. at, at UCLA, if you had any food sitting next to you yeah. outdoors, a squirrel would just come right down and grab it, take it. I mean, a whole muffin, yeah. like a watermelon, whatever. They're strong, <laughs> powerful, and and we we hated them at UCLA. Aww. I'm so sorry, but I have to. But because you've talked about this, yeah, I've, they're I'm they're changing my thought about squirrels. Now, the worst squirrel thing that happened was I went golfing. I had a brand new golf bag and I had a, pow a power bar inside the golf bag. But squirrels have super smell, so they could smell, oh, the, yeah. they could smell that power bar, which was in a wrapper inside my golf bag. So while I'm on the green, I look over uh, to see <laughs> the squirrel kind of on my bag. I'm like, oh, whatever. I didn't think much of it. Yeah. But then when I walk back over there, I see him run off with the power bar. <laughs> he has eaten a hole through the okay. bag to get to the bar and now I'm furious because the bag is brand new right <laughs> so I grab my driver and I'm starting I'm swinging at it but he's too fast I can't catch yeah. it right and I'm running after him like get back here with my power bar get back. and this is 
I'm just going through this craziness. My friend starts yelling at me. He's like, Garrett, Garrett. I go, what, what? He goes, you look like a crazy man right now. Come back. Put the golf club down. Forget about the squirrel. And I was like, beep, 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 beep. So I was really. For like know. half that story, I thought you meant like a power bar that you plug things into. No. <laughs> I was like, yeah, golfing with a power bar. Yeah. Squirrel's, got, squirrel's got like, I gotta plug in my iPhone. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta watch got, my little gotta, pony. I'm I gotta know. ramp up my iPad here. I know, they're like the 10th smartest animal. Um, that would have been crazy. We could do a little cartoon like that. Where he steals the power yeah. bar because yeah, he needs to plug stuff in at his little squirrel home. Yeah, uh, totally. they probably did. Okay. He was, he was gonna go work out after. Yeah. So he's like, man, I need a power bar. Yeah. I need to go like pump weights. Yeah. So in honor of you, I apologize to that squirrel wherever Thank you, you are for swinging my golf club. The at only you. thing I ask, as far as squirrels go, is they're most active in the unfortunately in the morning and in the evening. So just you know, in neighborhoods, just slow down. They don't know rules of the road. They don't know what a car is. So I know it seems stupid. It seems like they jump out into traffic, but they're just they, their their reaction is to stop. Like when they think a predator's coming, they stop, and then that's when they get hit. So just really, just, uh, for my sake, please please drive slowly. Okay, no, that's very nice of you. But of all the road roadkill I've seen in my lifetime, yeah. it's very rarely a squirrel. No, I mean, lot, those guys are fast. They're yeah. like. I would say the squirrels are the superheroes of the animal kingdom because they move so quickly. They do. They I mean, can go like, like 20. Choo, choo. They do, they're 20 like little miniature now. animal flashes. They're like, choo, choo, choo. like they're yeah. very fast. Incredibly fast. Try but you're saying that squirrels house. will be run over too? Yeah, they'll just, they'll just stop. They'll just stop like a deer. Just, yeah, okay. like a deer. So. But yeah. they're usually so tiny the car goes over them. So they're just frozen and they go, yeah. ooh, it's like a windy... Right. Ooh, that Sometimes was close. they can get like clotheslined, and then they'll. Ooh, that's, that's what and that's good. what happens when you some some squirrels we get have been hit by cars, not crushed, but uh, they've been hit in the head, and then they have like they can't be released. So. But all the baby all the babies I get, they're sorry. This 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 panel this got depressing. <laughs> no, it's you know what. This Moral is information. of the story is I love squirrels. The end. And I have one more question. Out of all your cosplays, what one's your favorite? Um, I have to say probably it's a toss, because they're all like my children. Um, I would probably say Snow White, because uh, I can wear really comfortable shoes and comfortable underpants. As we know, I have an issue with my undergarments. So. Have you thought of a squirrel cosplay? I have. I am actually working on a squirrel girl <gasps> costume. But total, oh. a little bit different than the Marvel version. I'm oh. sort of like, um, I. Uh, Updated it, let's okay. just say. So it looks cooler. I think it looks cooler. Awesome. Her outfit's pretty awful. Have you seen it? No. It's like a green onesie with like a fur vest and fur underpants. Oh, I, d I have seen that. Yeah. So it's not really that, uh, you know, it, it's, it's cute, but right. I, I definitely want to like, I'm kind of known for like translating stuff. So yeah. I really want to like make it super techy. Like if she was joining the Avengers, what would she yeah. kind of look like? So. Okay, cool. So it's your own version of it. Mm. Yeah, I okay, guess. I'll but I'll have out. a giant tail, so you'll totally know who right. I am. Right, I'll know it's Squirrel Girl. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you, young lady. And it wasn't depressing. I mean, this is important information. It is. I mean, it may happen that somebody we needs to... We should just have another panel all about just squirrels. Just on squirrels. Okay. Yeah. Yes. R2-D2. <laughs> uh, like, your Instagram is covered in, like, dog photos and squirrel photos. Do you Told ever, you. Do you ever find that, like, you wish you had more time for them? Like, it's almost like cosplay or your pets? <sighs> Um, well, I my the recent dog photos. That's uh, my parents. She used to be my dog, and then when I moved away, she went to go live with my parents. So I torment her when I'm at my parents' house. It's just a picture of me like trying to hug Mika, this dog that I had, and she hated affection when she was a puppy, or she just hates me, one of the two. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, the thing is though, cosplay is still my hobby, so that's why for those of you who do follow me, I don't pump out a lot of costumes very fast. Not only do I like to take my time, and uh, my biggest goal is, is I want to produce something I'm happy with and I'm proud of, um, so I can't pump out a costume in a week. That's just not in my nature, but uh, but so I will. I'll, I'll just be like, well, I don't need to make this costume, so I'm going to go play a video game or I'm going to go, you know, go out and eat or cook or, you know, the squirrel thing. Like since August, I haven't made a costume because I had the four baby squirrels with me and they just either I, and I work a regular job. I have I work for a comic book artist. And uh, so I was working and then trying to do, handle them. So I just didn't have time to do anything. So I just. Which is sometimes I wish I had more times for cosplay, and other times I'm like, I wish I was faster. So I had more time for other things, but you just kind of juggle it. Yeah. Cool. Juggle it. Juggle it. Juggle it. Uh, you know, 
Mika is what your parents dog or your dog who is she was my dog and then yeah. when I moved down to Atlanta I couldn't take her with me she definitely loves you it's not the, anything about not loving you it's, it's not me it's her no 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 <laughs> it's she oh, she she keeps smelling squirrel on you so that that's probably what but it is but then she would love me more yeah dogs don't like squirrels that much they uh, love to chase true. them you know so maybe that's she didn't love me even prior to the squirrels no she probably she, maybe she was in a time sort of like you know uh where are we going with this? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, next question. Thank you. What's been your weirdest like fan interaction, whether online or at a convention? Because I know people can get pretty strange. Uh, to be honest, I've been really lucky. I haven't had too many weird experiences, and if I do, I just kind of weird them out more. <laughs> like I, so squirrels. It, yeah. So. Uh, I, I kind of like, it, it just like totally goes over my head. My friends are like, oh, this weirdo came up. And I was like, I, everyone, I, I just equate, like I'm, I can be awkward and I just assume everybody else is awkward too. So I, I just be like, oh, they're trying to be social and it's just coming awkward. So I don't like make a mental checklist though. Are there, I don't know if I can tell this story. I'll try to keep it as clean as possible. Um, recently. Ooh. Yeah. Remember, there's still children. Yeah, I'll audience. try. To, so there's this advent uh, on the internet. Okay, so you can get creepy messages online. So I, again, I try to creep them out just, or I wonder how to creep them out. So some guy sent me a very uh, revealing photo of himself. Gotcha. Let's just say it was a headshot of himself. <laughs> and, um, and basically from the neck up. Let's have a talk show, yeah. double entendre. <laughs> Okay. So anyways, he sends me this photo and he's like, do you like? That's how I imagine how he's saying it. Do you like? And I ignored him, right? And he sent it again. He's like, do you like? <laughs> and I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I was talking to a friend of mine. I'm going to find the nastiest like, picture of a female area. And I'm going to say, yeah, I like. You want to see mine? And then just send it to him. <laughs> and then I'm going to be like, do you like? And then I'm pretty sure he would leave me alone for the rest of my life. <laughs> or a picture of a squirrel splayed out like that. Uh, like, then you send it back it going, dirty, do you man. like? Don't make it dirty. Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez. So no. there was that. He was... He was weird. So, and then I also thought, like, uh, when people send me weird messages, and just it's just too much effort. But I'm always like, how can I get them? Uh, finding their moms on Facebook or sisters, and sending them a copy of everything they send. Be like, here you go. Here's what your son's up to. Wow. I am a jerk. Yeah. Okay. Well, that stops that action pretty quickly after you do that, yeah. isn't it? But it's true, when someone weirds you out, and you weird them more out, it's sort of, they don't know what to, they're not expecting that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They're expecting either a shock value for you to like, how dare you send me that, you know? Or yeah. they're thinking, maybe she likes me, and you're gonna say, I like it, or whatever, Do right? Do you like? Yeah, I like. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but when you weird people out, that's kind of, that's a great strategy, though. I think yeah, that's Yeah, I mean, awesome. I just try to weird them. That's, I, yeah. that's basically it. There is, um, you know, in, in California, uh, they have road rage. I don't know if that happens here in Canada at all. Does it? I think that's sort no. of a global phenomenon. Like if you, it, it is here yeah. too. If, if if you accidentally cut somebody off in the car you, by mistake when you switch lanes, do they in Canada do they speed up next to you and then flip you off yeah, and then yeah. cut you off? Is that what happens? Okay, so. Atlanta, what, they do that this too. is what uh, an ex-girlfriend did, which is similar to your. What is you, this the underpants girl? No. Wow. So he, he anyway, got so she, when she cut somebody off by mistake and she's driving on, and they come over to about to flip her off, she has a pair of um, Mexican maraca things with the little shaking <laughs> things, and she picks them up and she right when they come around the corner and about to flip her off, she doesn't look at them. She just drives on and she picks the maracas up and shakes them and dances <laughs> like that. And so they're like, e what the? <laughs> and so the outweirding is the best yeah, way is. to diffuse any situation. So coming to this convention, I have saved, we have saved all of your lives because some crazy person who may, you know, do something on yeah. the road now will be completely befuddled by the maracas. Just choose a tambourine, yeah, anything you want to do, just pick triangle a, pick would a be triangle. Oh, the <laughs> They would probably crash <laughs> yeah. at that point. Ah, like that. <laughs> exactly. So that's, you know. So, yeah, basically, like, yeah. and that's the thing. Like, there's, you know, there's a lot of trolls on the internet. There are. And they basically just do it to get a rise out of you. So if you hassle them back. Unbelievable. They're like, they're like, they're, they'll, they'll shrink back right away. Yeah. So. You should write a pamphlet, how to deal with trolls on the internet and just it, have it a It would just be like, do you like? <laughs> <laughs> 
have to be one single sign. I'm going to make a t-shirt like that, too. With the bear one? Are we yes. going to start like a T-Fury? The whole Fury? line, a T-Fury. <laughs> it would be called Ricky Fury. Right. <laughs> and only the, it will be only marketed to everyone in this room. That's no one right. else would know what no we're no talking about. No one will about. get it. Yeah. Do you like? <laughs> yes, your question. Uh, what was your weirdest slash most adventurous cosplay? Ooh. Oh, in Is what that way? in one thing? Yeah. Weirdest slash most adventurous? You mean both together? I would have to say probably if I was going to go with like weirdest is uh, those of you who watch again, here's a cosplay, the Alice dress. It was this uh, flesh maiden dress and I sculpted it all and I cast in this like rubber urethane, but it's like this monster dress with teeth and Ooh. ended up weighing like 25 pounds. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And uh, it was, it was a whole sculpted dress was just bizarre. And I was like, I've never seen anybody do this before. And now is that I know on what. your Instagram? Uh, there's very few pictures of it, but I'll, I'll, I'll send you it. I'd like to see it. Yeah. Do you like? I do it. <laughs> okay, that's the last time I'm going to say that. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> everybody, everybody has to hashtag do you like. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag do you like. Do you like? You're back. I'm back. <laughs> um, so, like, you run here as a cosplay, as everyone probably knows. Huh? <laughs> but um, is all this stuff, like, uh, did like the makers of it ever make something of you that wasn't real, like like an argument or like something mm. like that? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, there was a comment that a lot of people thought I said, saying heavy people can't cosplay, and that is not what I said. Uh, what I said was they were asking like what your pet peeves are, and I said my pet peeves are how judgmental the internet can be to people who don't meet an ideal, and. Uh, the way they edited the conversation was one girl uh, said, well, isn't cosplay about feeling good about yourself? And the problem is, is I, I just talk and I didn't realize how they can edit things. And I said, yes, uh, but unfortunately, if you, I said, if you're, I think, 300 pounds and you're dressed as Superman and your photo gets put on the net and you read the comments, that might not make you feel good about yourself, which would then discourage you from cosplaying, which is actually the last, the last thing I want. Unfortunately, they edited that. And if, if you actually watch it and listen, it sounds super wonky. Because I say, well, you know, I've been approached by people, and they say, like, because I have been approached by people, and they're like, man, I thought this community was really, like, embracing. And I'm like, it is, but you get the outside people who don't understand and who aren't embracing and who are super judgmental, and people aren't expecting that. So I was just talking about just being aware of uh, that there are trolls out there, and they, and they don't understand what it goes to make the costumes and, and put yourself out there. And I would never want someone to get discouraged anytime. So that was, that was the most frustrating, because I watched the episode, and I was like this, I was like, I was like, that's not what I said, that's not what I said at all. And I put a big explanation on my Facebook page, and people were like, okay, I understand, it's a reality show, it got edit, you got a bad edit. But then other people just are like, no, that, you said what you said. And I'm like, I've never said that, I would never want to say that, I was on the show to promote cosplay, anybody, it's like cooking, I love Ratatouille, it's like anybody can cook, anybody can cosplay, but I never want someone to get discouraged from people who just are not nice people and bullies on the internet. Like, they're just there. I'm not gonna lie about that, but. I will vouch for you. T uh, being taken out of context, uh, being in the limelight happens all the time. Um, I have done interviews before where I'll say, I'll, I'll give them a 10 minute answer, and this tiny little sliver gets in there. Yeah. Like the one, most recent one was, it was uh, uh, Garrett Wong hates William Shatner is all they wrote really? on there. Yeah. So now everyone's going to, what? How dare he? You know, blah, blah, blah. And I was just talking about, I was saying, I really, I said, I'm a huge fan of Captain Kirk, but I'm not a huge fan of how William Shatner has acted at certain conventions. I mean, there's times where so, may, some of you may have met him and you may have had a great time in your photo op or your dealings with him, but typically, a lot of times, if you're about to get an autograph from him, you'll be told while you're standing in line, when you get up to Mr. Shatner, you will not engage him in conversation. You will not look at him. You will not, and it's like, what? You're paying 80 to $120 for an autograph. You can't even say hello to the guy, you know? So that, you know, to that, me. I mean, that would is, bug me too. Well, it, it does. And I just. It's I, like, just don't be there then. Yeah, that's my point. Yeah, don't just, just, if you're going to be like that, don't even come to the convention. But you so know? now you hate so, William Shatner. And now I hate William and Shatner. And we're going to totally yeah. cut this whole panel to be. I, and that. that's going to be that. But, um, no. But yeah, so that's that was the edit on the show that I oh. think I was most. You know what? We're out of time. What? Look at that. Is that possible? Wait a minute. What's how long is it? How long is a panel here, guys? Forty-five minutes. Is that right? 
And what time do we start at? Like five after, right? And seven it's after. Seven after? Well, we're not 45 yet. 11.47. We started at seven do you after. Know? This is Mr. Seven Garrett plus 45. Wayne. I know numbers. Ensign Kim knows numbers. 11.52 is the end of the panel. We still have four minutes. Correct? Yes, thank you. Okay, I'm correct. All right. Executive decision. Do people want us to stop? No, everyone, just, just everyone get up here and ask your questions. Yeah, quick, listen, quick, listen to the Kigu. Get up, get up. But yeah, so basically that is what I said. Yeah, um, taken out of context. Yes, yes, totally yes. So taken out yes. of context. I was really disappointed. Yeah. There was a lot of hate on the net, but... But I mean, you know what? The people that are still hating, too bad for them, all right? Exactly. Then they, they miss out on know. knowing how awesome you are, Aww, so whatever. Thank you. Aww. Aww, but yeah. We just met recently. Yeah, New York Comic Con. New York Comic Con. It was exactly. fun. It was like love at first sight. It was. It was like, oh, because I met you through our Monica. mutual friend, Monica. Yeah, Monica Lee, hilarious. cosplayer, who was really funny. That girl's nuts. Yeah. She like, the first time I met her, she somehow, I don't know where my, I left my phone, but she picked it up, she put it on photo, and she made some weird shot, that and then she like just, her. you know, put it back down. I had no clue until like two weeks later, I'm going through, what the, you know? <laughs> I have to say, like, what really struck me about Garrett is uh, Monica got a picture for her mom, and I made this dumb oh. suggestion. I was like, why don't you call her? Because her mom really likes him. And he's like, sure. And he had like, you had like a 10 minute conversation with her. I did. And it was awesome. I was like, that is so cool. With Monica's mom. Yeah, I it just, know. like honestly, he, I'm sorry, I'm gonna make gush about you. Oh no, stop, it's your panel. <laughs> no, he is just, like you said, you can meet some celebrities, but you actually make like a concerted effort uh, to like engage anybody, no matter who they are. I do. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. Well, sorry. you know what it is? Because here's the thing, if you have a fan, and everyone here is a fan of you, just, I mean, it's very, it's obvious. They, they'll be watching, uh, they've been following you, yeah. and when they first meet you, if you're, even if you don't feel good, you yeah. better put your best face on because at that point, that's, yeah, <laughs> that, no, though, like that quick mic. 10 <laughs> seconds if, informs everything. Yeah. Whether you've shattered their expectations of you and they're like, oh, I can't believe they were a jerk. Oh. Or they're like, hey, this yeah, person was really cool. He's as cool as I thought, you know, he was, blah, blah, blah. It's literally so, that old saying, do unto others as you would have them totally. do unto yourself. And I'm a, I'm a geek at, at heart too. Yeah. So I know if I walk up to it, um, if I walk up to Harrison Ford, and he blows me off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna be like, Harrison Ford hates me. <laughs> so anyway, but yes. Uh, speaking of William Chatner, he throws temper tantrums. Shatner throws temper tantrums. I witnessed oh. one. Oh, you saw one. Dang. Oh, okay. Has anyone seen anything odd with William Shatner ever? In, in the, there, you have anyone? Oh, okay. A few more bad dealings, but the most, most of the crowd is all okay with him. So. He, he stormed off because it took a minute too long to introduce him at, uh, at Calgary Comic Expo. Wow. Like it was really He sad. stormed off the stage because it took a minute he too long? He was behind stage with me because I was escorting him on and he like stormed off and his handlers had to go get him. Man, you hear See? secrets behind the scenes at our panel. I know. I think I'm learning this trick. He's got it tapped to his chin. He is that the trick? Uh <laughs> you know what it is? I Am I like some kind of like <laughs> Star Trek alien no, now? I just went I just put. <laughs> what if I do this? Stop. I used to say when I was doing a. <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. Here's I got the deal. it, guys. I'm pulling you a Garrett wing. <laughs> do you like? It is super glued to yeah, my chin. It, it is. is. It's been on his chin I, the whole time. What did you talk I'm about at the beginning? I know we're going over now, aren't we? Oh, we're God. Live. No, is we it? have one more minute. We yeah, have one more okay, minute. Okay, go. We have one, we're done. Look at all, I got supervisor going, no, we oh, are D-O-N-E. No, Listen, guys, man, put get your hands together. Man, get us back next year to our panel. Okay, we have to do a two-hour panel. Yeah, two-hour panel. Put your hands together for Riddle, <laughs> a.k.a. Ricky. Right, let's Thank touch. you. Well, oh, wait, like this. Ready? There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye, guys. Have a great uh, rest of your con. <laughs> oh, we can pose. Back yeah, to back. Back to back with it stuck to our chin. Yeah. Stuck to our chins. Get your photo, photo op. You better hurry. <laughs> Hold it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Stuck to our chin. Is it stuck to your chin? Yeah, okay, totally. It's not to going chin, anywhere. Chin. It's not going anywhere at all. <laughs> That's an awesome photo op. Yeah. 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 Oh, sci fi. All right. Now, if Bye, you come guys. to the after hour panel, it'll be stuck somewhere else. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Alcon.